Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I'm right close to my house, it's just down the road. A little place I could pull off where I could uh, film some goldenrod for the video. It's Conestoga R River Wildlife Management Area. And uh, there's trails out there here where you can walk out and go hunting. But uh, what I want to talk about today is your overwinter stores for your bees and the goldenrod. Now, goldenrod in our area is just starting to come up good. Now, the goldenrod in our area is should be a very, very good year. We've had lots of rain. We've not experienced hardly any drought this year. Just a little bit, maybe in uh, the last of July and first part of August. And today is August 28th. And the mosquitoes here, I had to stop for a second. They are horrible. I guess close to this river, they're coming up here and they're really, really bad. So what I want to do, and I do this every year, is I try to get people to comment and write, let me know in your area how the goldenrod is doing. It kind of gives everybody a heads up and tell me how well it's doing, if it's going to be a good year or not for the goldenrod. Uh, I know for sure that ours is going to be really good because of the amount of rain that we've had, so there's it's not going to be uh, dry for sure so it's looking really really good for us here in North Georgia as far as a goldenrod it's just really beginning to pop up it's not there's not a whole lot of it yet but you can see out through here in this field and then the, here's a parking area and that field right there has got this is a so far the biggest area that I've seen so far in this right away concentrated with a, a lot of goldenrod now i'm no uh plant expert so i don't know what and some of you may know what this stuff is right here but um it's blooming as well so what you need to do is that's why i'm saying it's very important goldenrod is very very important because it's going to dictate it's your last flow of the year it's your last opportunity for your bees to get nourishment, nectar into the hives before the winter, before the fall, and this is it after this. So if you have a poor goldenrod season and you, and you took a lot of honey from the hives, you could be starving your bees out. So pay attention to this. And when the goldenrod season is in and you're not getting a good flow, you need to start uh, feeding the sugar water to your bees. And uh, very important. So, so everybody, please comment, and it gives everybody a chance to go into the comments and read what's going on in your area and all over the country. I'm having to stay on the move because these mosquitoes are that bad. I stopped and put a little bit of hand sanitizer on me because I thought I had some uh, spray in there, but I couldn't find it, so I, I must have left it somewhere. But I'm just kind of walking around and kind of keeping them away from me a little bit. So, this little field here has quite a bit. The river is actually that direction, so it just, uh, and this floods right here. When they get a lot of water, this is just covered up in water, in uh, flood water. So remember that. Pass on the word. And feed your bees because it's getting, we're, you know, we're coming to the end of the dearth because we're getting a lot of goldenrod that's just now blooming. So uh, in your area, if it's going to be dry and you're just not going to get a good nectar flow, then what you need to do is start feeding your bees. Offer them uh, pollen. You need to get your pollen feeder out. Uh, there's a lot of plans on there for homemade uh, pollen feeders. Um, we have Big Blue at Barnyard Bees if you need a big one. 
uh, anything you need, of course, barnyardbees.com, we got it. Uh, the grasshoppers. And this is what my chickens like. I don't know if you can see that right here. I don't want to step on a cotton mouth. But there's uh, big old grasshoppers out there. And my chickens are running the yard now. And they're just going crazy after these grasshoppers. But that's about it. I just wanted to put that word out. Let's talk back and forth and com communicate with each other to help the other beekeepers out. And don't forget, 2021 packages at barnyardbees.com. Beekeeping su supplies, whatever you need. And don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnard Beast.